again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And this is the leftover canvas earlier from my only scrape in all the time that I've been painting. And I am going to give myself a nice layer of Meaden Black paint. And use an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And prepare my canvas for the prism pour paints from Color Art that you can find a promo code right below the video. But you can find the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula on my, yeah I see those bumps, on my <laughs> Amazon link. And if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. The Amazon link is actually on the link tree. I'm not sure about this. Because I'm not sure I have enough spoons to go around. I want to do a rainbow. <laughs> go figure. Everybody gets to do rainbows. I get to do rainbows too. I'm going to wipe off my spatula and throw it in the bucket. And start with, I guess, yellow. And this would be, I believe this is Tuscan Sun. And I'm not going to be too fussy about it, what it is. I think this is um, Mango Tango that I'm going to put right next to it. Mango Tango and Fandango. And on to, where's a spoon? I know you're here. i just put you down. There we go. Water Dragon. No, this is Royal Sapphire. I think I'm going to use that spoon for the water dragon if I get most of the paint off. Water dragon is gorgeous. I'm going to put that down in. I've been making circles in silicone lids, so I just rest my spoon in there. I have blue velvet. From earlier. There's going to be more than enough paint here, I can tell you now. There's some Northern Sky, which has a very nice butterfly wing color shifting, which reminds me I have to try and remember to give you guys a lit up version. So, on to Royal Galaxy. I could have done the African Violet. I was really thinking about it, but I needed something that was a little bit lighter. I don't know how this is going to go, but I've got Bonfire. I forgot my Bonfire? No, I couldn't have. Okay, here's my Pink Diamond. It's my version of a rainbow anyway. I need one more little spoon. Preferably not two. They're stuck together. Please don't be stuck together right now. There we go. Got it. That is poinsettia. One of my all-time great favorite colors now. I know people like don't think of me as somebody who uses red a lot, but I have to have the right red. And then, and then bonfire. This is going to be really interesting to me. I'd like to get some of my paints out of my way so that I don't have any chance of knocking them over. And when it comes time, I can show you what I want to show you. So let's grab the Amster Let's grab the Amsterdam white that is officially plugged up. Oh my. I remember I was barely getting any, anything out of it earlier which means it should come out the plug should come out fairly easily if I just stuff a skewer in there and I was right so I've got this palette knife and I'm thinking about that really like some purple in there too, but 
I think this is a good start. I'd like black also. You know what? I'm going for it. Let's just do it all. I wonder if I can... to go all the way to the edge. And maybe a little more white. Right down here. Not seeing as much as I'd hoped for on the second half of this journey. So I'm probably going to just give myself permission to add some more. And I've got little tools if they're clean and they are little acetate tools. I think I'm just going to go for whatever inspires me. Let's start with something larger though. Maybe the medium sized one. I wish I had these in every size imaginable. Still didn't get what I was after. I'm gonna do it again. Let's give that a little bit of a tilt before I go on too far. See where it wants to travel to, if anywhere. I'm inclined. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do actually. I try the white again. I'm going to go for the purple. I think I'm going to wind up adding some more color in here. Just shuffling some of that color. Right down. Miss the gold. I miss the pink too. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a puddle. Bonfire. And I have 
medium sized. Acetate paddle. That's kind of cool. I think if I use a Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula and take the paint right off my paddle, they won't be unhappy with what I get. I like that curve. Kind of makes me want to do another one though. I know, I have some Chantilly lace and I'd like to use it. I'll just do this again, this time with some black. interested in finding some a puddle of white and some purple some blue velvet dragon. Although now that I see it, I'm kind of inclined to add something else, like a little fandango. And I want to tip that to spread it out. And then I'm going to use my spatula again. I want some gold in there too. You know what? I've got some Mayan gold in a bottle that should be right. That's not it. I wonder where it went. Should be right here. Oh well, let's slap it with a little more of that Tuscan sun. That's kind of golden. But this white just doesn't want to stay open tonight for some reason. Getting a little too frisky. That's pretty cool. I 
I should have put a puddle of black under there. I think that helps a lot. Let's give it a try anyway. Oh, I got something out of there. I want some purple. This is the only part I'm not sure about right now. Everything else is pretty wild. Oh, that worked out nicely. With the black underneath. I could use a toothy tool too, I think. I've got some really pretty paint over there on my table. I think I'm going to use it right there. I've got three minutes to tell you guys I do some of my artwork. And this is pretty darn cool. Even though I was having kind of a weird day earlier and I wasn't sure it was going to work. I'm pretty happy with how it worked now. I don't want to mess with anything that's good too much. There we go. So I'll show you guys that. That is pretty awesome. In spite of the work that it took me to get there. I'm loving it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for watching the commercials when you watch them. Thank you for coming back over and over again because I post seven days a week. Usually around noon. A little before or a little after. Something similar. Okay, most of my tools are covered with paint so I'm going to do my close-up if I can. As best I can. I promised I would try and try I will. nothing. Very, very shimmery. I have got a few bubbles to pop with my skewer. I didn't like those lines before, but I like them now. Just beautiful. Totally gorgeous. Ha! Huh. I have some, it's not muddy, it's sort of more silver than anything. I think it came from the uh, Chantilly Lace. Anyway, so check out my link tree if you wouldn't mind very much. And you will find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter links, my Facebook groups. And uh, maybe I should zoom in and go back and get the light. There's some great cells in there. I'm sorry about the studio lights. They're just not complimentary at all. In my opinion, anyway. So my email address is under the link tree. The link tree is way down under the 20% off. You want to check that out. Um, please share my videos if you're of a mind to. And know that I accept donations for uh, <laughs> to help support the production of videos at the studio through PayPal. And if you do make a donation through PayPal, you'll be automatically invited to join the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video I share on the end screen of this video in the last 20 seconds. If you guys want to help me other ways, the Amazon link is on my link tree. I have two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. They're the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube about fluid art when I was new at this, but I was still having a good time and there's some great stuff in there. Thank you guys for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. My paint pouring recipe is below the video under show more along with my paint, um, my cell activator recipe. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida and I also sell my artwork when I have an opportunity. 
If you guys are